Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I craft a miniature ancestor altar with a mossy, spooky forest theme. Perfect for Samhain. Let's do some magical crafting. This kit includes three natural wood elements, a round base, a photo holder, and a candle holder. An artificial tea light candle, a faux moss rock, some moss in various green colors, three clear crystal quartz, a small carved stone skull bead, and a bit of faux spider web. Because the wooden elements are from nature, every piece in every craft kit will have natural variations. This kit includes almost everything you need to create a miniature ancestor altar. However, you do need to provide some kind of glue. I recommend a glue gun and glue sticks if you don't want to have to wait for the glue to dry. I'll link to the kit below in case you want to get one for yourself. But of course, you can make this project using craft supplies you have at home as well. This project does not require any painting. However, if you'd like to add embellishments or painted details with materials you have at home, feel free to get creative and add personalized elements specific to your traditions or your ancestors. I'm starting by setting all of the elements on the wooden base and deciding how I want to position them. The most important element to consider is to make sure the photo holder is not blocked by any other elements so that your photo can slide easily into it. Next, consider where you want the candle to be positioned. I suggest placing it in front of the photo area to illuminate the picture of your loved one. After that, decide where you want to position the moss rock, the moss pieces, the quartz crystals, and the skull. I'm gluing the wood items down first. Then I'm adding the moss stone and multicolored moss to the base. I think this is the perfect craft project for the month leading up to Samhain. Creating an ancestor altar is one of the most personal and meaningful ways to connect with those who have passed. Now it's time to add the little details. There's a bit of fake spider web in the kit, as well as three clear quartz crystals and a tiny carved stone bead shaped like a skull. You can add these in any manner you like or leave them off. With your details added, you can keep adding personal touches if you like. I recommend adding small mementos or objects that remind you of your ancestor. You might include crystals or offerings like food, water, or flowers, especially things that they enjoyed in life. I like to include rosemary for remembrance.
The final element is to add a photograph of your loved one and to turn on the candle to illuminate it. Don't forget to remove the battery cover before switching on the light. Lighting the candle on your ancestor altar can be a daily or weekly practice, especially leading up to Samhain. It becomes a place to reflect, meditate, and listen for any guidance or messages from those who have passed. Happy crafting! <music>